Jerry Chow, you must be wondering when is that win going to come for Easy Snip? He's got a, a string of seconds to his name recently, but he is racing well. He, he will line up in race one on Sunday. Yeah, he a bit um, unlucky always uh, a second, and but he's a really tough horse and he improved a lot this season. And this time he he get an outside barrier, so I think the same tactics just. Just ride him a bit quiet and then let him finish. I suppose it's easy to, to on paper, say he has been unlucky, obviously, with three seconds. But um, when you sort of really boil it all down, he actually has been unlucky. There was a race a couple of starts ago where he got absolutely no run and he was sort of cantering all over the back of horses. So he has very much been that unlucky horse and he certainly looks like he's improved plenty for those blinkers. Yeah, um, when we blinkers, he, he get a more interest and, and he can... In the streak, he's always want to go, but always no room to go, and hope this time he can more, get more luck. Yeah. Had he just been lacking that bit of focus, and obviously with those blinkers on, he's, he's it's just helped him sharpen up a bit. Yeah, sure. He, he before he a bit um, um, sometimes he lost his um, mm. interest, and he will be a bit off in the streak. And when he wear blinkers, he he getting more in the race. Yeah. It's a race, Jerry, with a few unexposed types, obviously some newcomers, one or two, if not more, that have had a run and perhaps you know, would need to maybe prove themselves. Jerry, do you feel that you're probably on the, the best horse in the race coming into this contest? Um, I think so, but still need to see the race, how the race is mm. going and, and see the, the check is, is good for me to, good for my horse. Yeah. And even from that outside barrier that you mentioned, he is a hold-up sort of horse. So I guess you can you can take your time from the outside. Yeah, because before we get a good barrier, we try to pass a little bit forward, and the horse seem not really handle it. And we, we think uh, be be quiet earlier is good for him. And I think the outside barrier is still okay. Back to Shantin, of course, for you this weekend. But um, you were riding over in, in Dubai on World Cup night. From from all the reports I read, you, you thoroughly enjoyed the experience, and, and rightly so. I mean, your horse Duke Wai ran a, an excellent race. How much did you enjoy uh, that experience riding there, Jerry? Yeah, it's really good experience for me to to see outside of the world and and race with the the champion jockey and the the good horse and. Make me uh, feel uh, I learn a lot and and see more uh, outside the work. Yeah. And he was brilliant, wasn't he, in defeat, Duke? I mean, he, he never he never turns it up at all, and he, he just kept battling towards the line. I mean, it was an excellent. Did, did you think at any stage that you, you might be sort of half a chance of maybe winning the race? Yeah, he because before the race we don't know how how his speed speed because yeah. when he get fresh he will get more speed, and but we we still concerned about. Um, he would lay back, so so when he jumped, he jumped well, and he put himself a bit in front. Uh, this I'm really happy with that. But um, he started a little bit uh, keen, and then after he getting the the um, getting behind the horse, he getting settled, but only a short time. After that, when I move out, I think because he he's improving, I think I got I got a chance to to win the race at the 400 meter. And at the 300 meter, um, he's really catch the leader, mm. and I think, oh, I got a chance here. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, but after that, he start to be um, just be one pace and yeah. didn't improve. So I, I try to I try to do something, and I, I change my whip to the to the white and and give him a, like a second spin again, and he 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 did a good job. He stay on and and really close to the winner. Karis Teed, an amazing victory. It's one of your rides coming up on Sunday afternoon. Very honest horse, isn't he? And um, just continues to race well. Yes, Nick. Uh, he's been racing well uh, throughout his, uh, this whole season. Uh, he's uh, gradually getting better uh, with uh, which each and every race. So looking forward to riding him again. A bit close to the pace last time. Was, was that by design or just the way sort of the race sort of fell from the start? Well, we had a good draw last time and he had no weight on his back. But also I knew that you no know, pace-wise, there is there's not much gonna be much, uh, and it was like that. It was a it was a sit and sprint race, and uh, don't think it worked out for him. Uh, just hoping now there could be a bit more uh, speed into the race. You've got all for St Paul's a couple of doors down. He should possibly lead you, I suppose, and another good draw as well. Yeah, that will be a big help again with a good draw. 
Um, I think if it's a true run race, uh, then it's going to be very competitive. Only second go at a mild Karras. Now, he, he acquitted himself really well a couple of starts ago. Um, he seemingly is a better seven furlong horse, but do you think a, a mile is, is well within his compass as far as winning one? Yeah, uh, the, the time I rode him, the second start before last time I rode him, he ran over the mile. Uh, I thought the horse that won the race, I think, went to run in the derby. Uh, so he, he, did, he did finish off uh, strongly over that mile, but uh, he would just need to switch off a little bit. But like I said, if it's a, if it's a true run uh, race, and uh, I think he's going to get a good opportunity. Yeah, he's done well this season, improved 23 pounds. Um, uh, just going back to, to Wednesday night, obviously you've enhanced and continued your good record on the, the all-weather. A um, couple of nice wins there, Karen. Yeah, I uh, was, was uh, able to ride a few nice horses and got a nice run through. But yeah, it's nice to, to just keep ticking throughout the season and just hope to keep getting the support I'm getting. Karis Teton, Regent Glory was a last start winner for you and trainer David Hayes. Managed to, to achieve that win in a class four for a class five mark. So it was a, a very good performance. Yes, uh, I must say, before going to, to the race, uh, David had the horse really well. And I think on the day, even David was pretty confident the horse will, will perform very well. And, uh, and I thought it was a gutsy win from a horse. He went forward, he had a relatively easy lead. Um, he might well get the same scenario this time in. There doesn't seem to be a great deal of pace in the race. Yeah, he's got a nice gate again, so I think you know, if, he, if, he, if he's leading or he's in a handier position where the horse is comfortable, he's doing well again, the horse, so I think, uh, I think he's capable again to, to be able to, to be competitive. How impressed were you as a rider, Karis, with his, his sort of turn of foot off the front end? Now, I mean, he probably hasn't beaten a great deal, in, in, with all due respects, but he did show a good kick off the front, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, you know, he had no weight on his back. Yeah. He was at the mark where he had uh, very low weight, so he had an easy section too. So I think if he gets the similar run, uh, he's got a turn of foot that, that could help him in a straight. So, like you said, there's, there's not much in this field that shows speed, and uh, if he can get a good run through, I think he's going to be competitive. Vincent Wonderkit is one of your rides on Sunday. You've got a pretty nice looking book of rides. Um, I thought this fellow though was perhaps one of the, the, the standouts. Um, recent racing has been very good and, and very progressive. Yeah, I think so. He's still learning. Uh, you know, he jumped and he got the speed to be up there sometimes and, uh, you know, can get some good position and he just improved in his shape. So, um, no, it's a decent, nice horse, uh, young horse, of course, and uh, still, still a lot to learn, but uh, got good potential. That run last time, the winner, Golden Express, was, was quite impressive. Obviously, perhaps uh, may have got first run on you, he was able to sn sneak up the inside. But, but your horse has got a great attitude, kept on strongly towards the post in the end. Yeah, he still stay on very strong. Uh, just, you know, I think got beat by a better horse that day and. Uh, you know, hopefully this time you can make it. Uh, recent bit of track work I, I sort of noticed on the 27th, uh, he worked with Gold Gold Baby, he looked to, to work really well. Were you impressed with that work? Yeah, I am. He actually relaxed quite well because uh, he has been, you know, since last start, he has been uh, pretty fresh and pretty strong on track work, which he didn't before, um, but that uh, Gallop with Gogo Baby was was uh, pretty relaxed and he hit the line pretty pretty well. So I'm, I'm happy with his work. Yeah. And has he got what I guess could be considered as a, a decent draw? He's in barrier number six. Um, where do you sort of see yourself sitting from from that middle gate? Yeah, well, where is comfy? But he he shows some speed, so you know won't be too far back. Probably close to his speed and all that. So um, yeah. It's, it's a quite straightforward ride, uh, quite easy. Jamie Richards, Alacrity, lines up in the last race uh, for you on Sunday. He's only had a couple of starts, Zach Purton now jumping on board. Um, let's address the, uh, the biggest concern, I suppose, first of all, is, is another wide barrier. Just having no luck at all with, with barriers, uh, making it very difficult for us. But look, I guess from the 1800 metre shoot, he's got a nice run down mm -hmm. the back straight yeah. to find a spot. Um, but we'll just have to have a look, see how the map looks, see how the pace of the race is going to be. But Zach, Zach usually likes to go forward a little bit, um, so hopefully we can find a spot for a midfielder a little bit better and 
Yeah, we just we just need a little bit of luck. But the horse is going well. He tried well here the other day. Um, he's a nice nice horse. His two runs have been good. Um, but he's got the bad gait and he's got a big weight, so he's going to have to be at his best. He looked to go through the motions in that trial really well. I mean, it, it was sort of put under minimal pressure, but he hit the line well, didn't he? Yeah, he did. We were sort of we were trying to get him on a derby path, and mm. and uh, things didn't sort of go our way. So we've just taken our time a little bit with him, giving him a a month between runs and trial, and uh, stepping him up slowly in distance, 14 a mile and now 1800. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to looking forward to seeing how he goes on, on Sunday. I imagine that was always the game plan, was it, to get over this sort of distance with him? Well, that's what he's bred to do, and that's yeah. what he did before he arrived here. So, um, slowly but surely, get him up and trip, but uh, don't, don't sort of rush him too much. But, yeah, we're looking forward to the back half of the season with him, or back third of the season, and, and then next season he's going to be, a, you know, hopefully a nice staying type of horse. I'm not sure how closely he followed Chilean racing, but he won a grade one there, didn't he? Two yeah, I don't, I don't know a lot about that that sort of form, but uh, he looked like he had a good action there and he did everything well. He's by a, a nice sire looking at Lucky, who's done a good job. So, um, yeah, hopefully he's got a nice future. The form of that last race working out quite well. The winner's won again since. Having the Gila was set was close up as well. We saw him in good form on, on Wednesday night. So, certainly on the form book, uh, you know, sort of overlooking his wide draw, he's, he's probably one that they have to beat. Yeah, he's, he's, he's certainly going well we can't fault him at home and uh, as I say we're looking forward to seeing how he goes on the weekend um, as you say the format of the race is strong and he had to make a long sustained run at them the other day with a big weight which is which is never easy um, so hopefully we can just have a little bit of luck on the weekend and we look forward to seeing how it goes